Since 2015, this country has not had a sprint relay team on the medal podium at an international track and field event. Back then, the women's 4x1 cupped bronze at the World Championships in Beijing with our pool of 400 meters runners, our best to for medals, both individually and in relays. Ken Fuentes begins his quest for answers with track legend Ato Boldan on what he sees as the issues and in a follow-up, the solutions. The World Championships will be the main focus of our attention for our athletes in 2019. Trinidad and Tobago's last men's 4x1 relay medal was silver at the 2009 World Championships, while you have to go back to 2003 when Darrell Brown won silver in the 100 to find our last individual sprint medal amongst the men. According to the 1997 200m World Champion, the quality just isn't there amongst our male sprinters at the moment. We have had a nice run in the in the four by one, you know. Um, our two thousand and eight team are going to get their Olympic gold medals um, in just over a year's time. They are already officially gold medalists. Um, they they had almost a decade of being on that podium, Worlds and Olympics, every single time. But now that team, in its current composition is past being able to contend for medals. I mean, the average age on that team might be 30, 31. Every team, every team around the world gets younger. He says one of the major problems is the transition from junior to senior for our athletes. I think we've had a lot of um, talent go off to the United States universities and not, not sort of be able to make the transition to the pros. Um, I don't think our clubs are producing the way they used to. I mean, it, if you look at the crop that we had in the Darrell Brown era, in the um, Richard Thompson era. Um, not all of them were necessarily produced by the clubs, but the, the clubs were producing at a level where those guys went off the university, um, some of them, and were still able to contribute um, post, post collegially. That hasn't been the case. Bolden adds the problem isn't unique to just Trinidad and Tobago. Jamaica is not the same team that they were. Um, a couple of years ago with, with Usain Bolt, they are really struggling to find their next people too. So um, a lot four by one has to, it, it needs some new blood and it needs some new blood urgently. Despite Kelly and Batiste 100 meter bronze in 2011 and the women's bronze in the four by one in 2015, our women have not medaled at a world championships in the sprints. And Bolden sees a problem here as well. You need a big pool of 10 and maybe if three or four get through, then now you have your future stars. But you're right. And this again is an indictment on our systems are failing. How can we, I mean, Khalifa is 21, now should be 22 by the next Olympics. How come we have not identified the next four, five, six major, major stars? In part two of our interview, we'll look at what Boland sees is needed to solve the problems. Kent Fuentes, CTT Sports.